So, my son was watching this game when I was playing it. So, yeah, I mean, the hand looks beautiful. I mean, if, if this were a bridge instead, that would have just sealed the deal, but... I see that, and I figure either a mirror match or, um, or uh, Tron, most likely Tron, and sure enough, it was red, green, Tron. My Tron opponent here, I pick, like, I guess they're new to the deck or something, but uh, here she played very slowly and used their stars and chromatic stars and spheres at the wrong times. Like, they would play them and pop them with a the land on top instead of waiting to use them in response to my mills. Yeah, I forgot to use a uh, lantern there. Um, I went ahead and milled out that Urza's Tower and Karn while they were on top. I was kind of hoping that I would end up going in, drawing into a uh, surgical, so I could just get rid of all the Tarns and uh, Karns in one go. That Inquisition did help me get rid of the Oblivion Stone. That would have been a really, really bad day. So now my opponent does have a um, worm coil in hand. Yeah, I, I take out my opponent's relic with the pitting needle, but like I said, my opponent has a worm coil in hand. So as soon as I get rid of that, the game's over. So I draw myself that thought seize, grab the worm coil, and the game's over. No. Yeah, like right here, my opponent immediately sacks the star to draw a land. And instead of taking out my Academy Ruins, takes out my uh, Land War Waste with the Ghost Quarter. So it appears that here she is really new to playing Tron and really new to playing against Lantern. I mean, game one it probably didn't matter because you know, I, I got control so quick. And I don't even need a bridge at this point and I win. But, yeah, opponent concedes. Now, game two, my opponent probably could have won if he or she had played correctly. But, I made a huge number of mistakes. So, yeah, uh, this is probably actually a mulligan here. Uh, I should have probably mulliganed, but I was thinking that Spell Scud will help me, and, you know, stay alive for a bit and stopping Karn from getting rid of Needle, and Sterns might be able to get me Needle. But, like I said, it was probably should have been a mulligan. I'll go ahead and play the Spell Bomb first. See, obviously I sighted in my, uh, my fourth Needle, and my ancient grudge. So there's a surgical. I'm really hoping to get uh, something big into the graveyard so I can just surgical all of them. My opponent does get Tron online. There's an expedition map. Yeah, I'm just drawing lands. So I got that shredder because I, I wanted to try to mill stuff and use surgical. And I'm not hitting the things that I want here. Now if memory serves me right, my opponent had a uh, oblivion stone in hand. I think that's what it was. Yeah, still not knowing anything that I want in surgical yet. Takes out my Glimmer Void, but I got another one. That Yugen, see, my opponent can ult Yugen next turn here. I'm still drawing land. Uh, I play out the Glimmer Void because I still want to... <clears throat> Go ahead and Ancient Grudge that so I don't take any damage. And my Spell Skies lives.
All right, so I got the lock on line. There's the oblivion stone, yeah. Let's see if I can pause it. Yeah, oh no, stirrings, thrag test, power plant, engine. So not enough colored mana to use that stirrings. <clears throat> Alright, and I got uh, the bridge on top. So really my opponent needs to ultimate Yugen right now. I may make a mistake here. I forget that one of them has death touch and it kills off one of my spell skites. So that was kind of dumb. I have to get rid of that stirrings. And I don't know if you noticed it there, my opponent um, tried to destroy, use Zugan's second ability. Um, but all my stuff is colorless, so really just, you know, wasted some time on Yugen there. In hindsight, I probably shouldn't use that Ghost Quarter, because uh, it gave my opponent the green mana he needed for the Ancient Star Eggs. So now I need to get a needle real quick. There's a needle. So I just need to hope my opponent doesn't stirrings into Karn. There's a Karn. <laughs> and I tries the stirrings into it, but I mill it. So now I had gotta hope my opponent doesn't get another Karn on top somewhere in that stirrings, and he doesn't. So the uh, you know game's over here. I named Karn with that one. Yeah, game is completely over there. So like I said, my opponent sh if my opponent had ultimate ulted uh, Yugen earlier, he probably could have won. Uh, I did make a misplay by ghost quartering uh, my opponent's from my opponent's strong lands, giving them the green mana. But fortunately, uh, my opponent whiffed on the ancient stirrings anyway, so I was okay. Yeah.